Hi, my name, oh, I did it again. It's fine, I'm just gonna go through. <laughs> it's Chris DeGrazio and I'm introducing myself this way because I'm aware that this is going to be recorded and uploaded to our channel. And I've been nervous about this all day. My speech, my little brief speech is about uh, an e eating disorder, something I've never really thought and wasn't sure I'd be able to discuss openly, but I've always been inching my way towards. And uh, someone else on this call with us, the Zoom meeting is also working with me on an article as, long, as well as other professionals in our field to kind of create an article about what it is to be a court reporter and being on the record all day and you want to fuel your body your body at in the morning but you can't drink too much water because you can't go to the bathroom because you're on the record all day and then you can't really eat that much but you have to eat little snacks like maybe nuts or berries <laughs> and then after the job is done you have to edit or you have to scope or you have to send invoices you have to get exhibits there's things we have to do after the job so you may not have the energy to go to a run or do 50 setups and so i know i'm talking fast because i'm nervous but my point is I, I haven't been diagnosed because I've been scared to be diagnosed. And also it, it feels weird saying that I have or consider myself to have an eating disorder unless I look super skinny. Because when I'm not, if I'm a normal weight or I'm overweight, it feels kind of uh, kind of silly to say that. And I know that's something I'm just working on and no one has to worry about me. I'm super okay with where I'm at and I love food. So I, I think I researched it a little bit today. There's eight, eight to 12 different types of eating disorders. And I think mine right now is binge, binge eating where I'll deny myself food and then I'll eat too much. And so I'm really trying to navigate how I approach it. And I'm just doing some research. And so this part of my speech is just to make a connection and, and motivate and encourage anyone who sees this in perpetuity in the future to just know that you're not alone and other professionals and Chris, we lost your audio. Can you hear me? Is it good? All right. Yeah, my internet, like my emotions, is unstable. So that's why. <laughs> I don't know. It's a good place to end. Uh, but I just wanted to I'll end with saying that if you're a student or a professional and you see this video later on, that you're not alone. and we're all kind of navigating our way to a solution or to better health. And I'm not the advocate for overcoming anything. I'm just here to say, and it's kind of as an introduction, introductory speech, as I kind of figure it out along the way, I won't update you guys on every speech, but I just wanted to make a benchmark for myself as far as I'm saying this and I'm not ashamed. And I'm and it's something that I'm proud to say that I'm working towards uh, solving or dealing with in a better way besides binge eating or starving myself or taking supplements or anything else just to deny myself uh, eating you know and I, I don't want to be in the place where I was in Orlando when I was eating and then I was crying afterwards and I don't say these things for sympathy and you don't have to worry about my health I am in good health I love food uh, but thank you for listening thank you for the time